My memory warehouse is much smaller. It's more like a shed. Yeah. <laughs> memory shed. <laughs> Not like a big shed either, just like a backyard. Well, it's she little shed. Six by six. <laughs> Howdy, folks. We're going back to you, me, and the movies. And murder, it's cold. We're in the heart of winter. And that means we're going to watch a winter themed Stephen King movie Dreamcatcher. Cool. Do you know anything about this movie? No, the cover scares me, so uh, I don't like it. This is actually a Stephen King novel that I've read. I read it my senior year of high school, Great. and I loved it. And I remember watching, I was in the theaters for another movie at the time, mm -hmm. like before this came, six months before this came out, and this movie trailer came on, mm. and I instantly knew it was Dreamcatcher, just but how... I envisioned the book in my head. Oh. I was like the opening shot. I was like, oh my God, they're making a Dreamcatcher movie. So, and it's basically kind of similar to the, the poster. It was creepy as shit. The, Perfect. The snow covered road in the forest and stuff. So, but yeah. All right. But you don't know anything about this one? Mm -mm. It's got a great cast Morgan Freeman, Thomas Jane, Timothy Oliphant. So, Donnie Wahlberg, I see Donnie there. Donnie Wahlberg's in it, yeah. Tom Sizemore. All right. Well, let's jump into it. Yeah, it's a good fun. And it, it's, it takes place in Derry. Where? Derry. Oh. Uh, where it takes place. Oh, God. So, another... Great. ...group of friends from Derry. Ew. Well, should we put on our parkas and head out into the cold? I guess so. Let's do it. But first, I'll like, comment, subscribe, come and hang, come, come and, come and hang out with us. Come hang. Yeah. <laughs> Check out our Patreon. <laughs> Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos for the comment and access to pulls up as people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Let's watch Dreamcatcher. Here we go. Love ominous tones. This movie feels cold. Are you ready? Nope. Carl's Jr. has this $6 burger, which really only costs $3.95, so you think you're getting some deal. By golly, those suckers almost filled me up. You know, when I got home, I still had to have a box of Eggos, but that doesn't take away from Therapy. I mean, here's a guy who's got to go through life as Carl Jr., right? Very. Like, he can never get out of the shadow of his dad. <laughs> Barry, do you think this compulsive eating has something to do with thinking you killed your mother? That you're eating yourself to death as punishment? I never said that. She called out to you from that big fancy oak bed. She said she was having chest pain. I never told you any of that. How could you know this? That couch sounds like it's feeling a little creaky. <laughs> sounds like your chair. It squeaking only when you move. Jeez, Chauncey, it's got some intuition situations, huh? Jesus Christ! Ah, oh, shot through my fingertips. What are you going deaf now? I said, how are you doing? Oh, you know, SSDD. I use that term a lot. SSDD. Oh, same shit, different day. Gotcha. David, do you know what happens to scholarship students who are caught cheating on exams? You had the flu that day, didn't you, David? You didn't take the exam. You missed the test, David, and since you were ill, why not write me an essay instead? 3,000 words on the short-term results of the Norman Conquest. Feeling sorry for the kid? How did you know? You, you weren't even there that day. Sometimes I just know. Is this like a collective conscious sort of situation? Collective intuition? They all seem to have a little bit of woo-woo in them. The Shan? Mm-hmm. And Stephen King. Yeah. 
This probably isn't gonna work. Never start that way with the car sales. Wow, he know. looks so young. And I just lost my damn car keys. Could you possibly make me duplicates? That takes at least a day. Oh, you just knew it. Easy, Trish. Maybe I can help. I've always been good at finding things. Did I tell you my name? I don't remember. I guessed. <laughs> you bought a candy bar before the aspirin. Mars bar. When's the last time you saw a Mars bar? It's been a while. Do they make those still? Oh, yeah. Mars is the company name. It's just one of their specialty bars, huh? If I find your keys, you let me buy you dinner. West War, 630. Best fried clams, this part of the state. Right on your way back. I think I liked Mars bars, too. Last time I had one. Might need to go find one. You dropped your keys. It's just luck is all. What's war fright? Half past six? You got it. Think he's got a date? An uncomfortable one. <laughs> Another fuckero. Fuckero? Fuckero. What's a fuckero? You be careful. Be careful of what? Wish I knew. He just has a bad feeling. What did you say? Yeah, I, I didn't say anything. Right. Sorry. Hey! Oh, my God. oh boy. He is dead. Beaver just told him to be careful. Mm-hmm. Off out for ish junk guy. Who's that? Is that Latin or is that some, Latin? Some sort of weird <laughs> fucking language. Six months later. Oh, he survived. Creepy. Got blown last night. Good for you. First time? Met some lady at Bingo, went back to her place. Turned into a pretty nice fuckery. Jesus. Try Viagra. Viagra? I'm practically at full salute all day. Leave it. You drop that little blue bomb, your heart is a Louisville slugger for 12 hours. 12 hours? Why do you want that? Did you say Bingo like the game in church basements? Well, there's trim there. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. The night I got hit, I was standing on that sidewalk, and there across the street, I saw Duddits. Just like he was that day we first saw him back in Derry. I mean, they motioned for me to come to him. Yikes. I got goosebumps in like a not good way. Duddits loves me, I know that. He loves us all. He would die before it ever hurt us. So why was he calling me into the street to get hit? That was the boy that you saw in the ambulance. Mm -hmm, the one that spoke in weird tongues or something. Promise Land. Promise Land? Never heard of it. Meg Ryan and uh, Reefer Sutherland. Kiefer. So Meg Ryan wakes up in the morning and says, where's the cat? And he says, what cat? And she says, the cat that shit in my mouth. <laughs> Uh, what's the memory warehouse? <laughs> you don't remember the memory warehouse? I must have forgot. You forgot about the memory warehouse? <laughs> it's in his head, B. We've all got one. Hadn't that place been condemned? Not yet. It's just that it's so crowded now I have to throw something out every time I learn something new. <laughs> what do you do with all the discarded piles? I burn them. I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Sports humiliations. I love this concept of a memory warehouse. Makes so much sense. You only got so much room for it. It's true. My memory warehouse is much smaller. Pretty full. 
it's no, just very much smaller. Yeah. yeah. It's more like a shed. Yeah. <laughs> Memory shed. <laughs> Not like a big shed either, just like a backyard. Well, it's well, she shed. Six by six. <laughs> Here's the Duddits, our dream catcher. Wish he was here. To the Duds. To the Duds. So Duddits is the dream catcher. 20 years earlier. You trying to make him eat that? What's wrong with you? Got it, snob face. I'm gonna make him eat this dog turd and then he can go. Come on, you dickweeds. <laughs> you want us to leave, is that it? No! Let's shake their asses! <laughs> Get you all later. <laughs> Just like the Losers Club. Ubi Ubi Do, where are you? We ask some. Uh, who do now? Oh, he's not speaking in tongues. He's just. Yeah. I done it. <laughs> done it. Done it. Come on, done it. I done it. That's the office in his memory warehouse. Mm -hmm. No way is that Tina Jean Schlossinger. Maybe your grandmother. <laughs> oh my god, we came all the way here just for that. No. We came for him. Pennywise was still around. It's unfortunate. Yeah. It's probably why the bullies were picking on him. Because he has a tendency to Pennywise makes people evil. Yeah. It's not a deer. He looks lost. I've been lost in the woods since yesterday. Let's get you inside. Get you warm. Is he real? Uh, I've been doing that all night. I ate some berries in the dark. I think... I think they must have upset me. What kind of berries did he eat? Poison berries? He got hit. I did something terrible with the patient. I humiliated him, drove him out of the office. Barry Neiman. A couple days ago, I saw his picture in the paper. He ate himself to death. Oh, hi, Joe Clarendon. Call me Beaver. Rick McCarthy here had a bad night in the woods. Welcome. Is that frostbite? You know, I, I get the same thing from peanuts. It's allergy. Do you think he ate his friends? Think he ate his friends? He's having some indigestion from that. Oh my god. Did he just shit himself? What have you been eating? Woodchuck turrets? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I think? I think you need to lie down and take you a little nap. I think he's gonna die. Oh god, what is inside of him trying to get out? Is this an alien sort of situation? Fuck me, Freddy. Give me some air. <laughs> you know his huge stomach? When he got here, his stomach was normal, but his chest was out to here. I wish Henry was here. He's a shrink, not an internist. He went to med school. Did you? I thought about it. <laughs> what is inside of him? Mm. Oh, I'm very concerned. There's... Like a monster inside of him. Shit! What's it? What the hell? Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oof. Looks like the hunter's buddy. Yeah. That opening aerial of them driving through the snow was the opening shot of the trailer that was like, this is Dreamcatcher. Pete, are you okay? No, I broke my leg. Oh, shit. 
Okay, here comes the seatbelt. Just open that beer. <laughs> just open that beer. <laughs> Laugh to keep from crying. Well, it ain't broken. It's just locked up is all. She dead? Yeah. When I was watching it. What are you doing? Well, peanut butter calms me down. That's Maybe gross. I want to use that jar. I'll leave some. <laughs> Oh god. The animals are running from something. This is not good. This is not good. They're either flocking towards something or running away from something. I don't warn you. We get up there and we'll strangle this broad. <laughs> Hello! Ah! Ah! Ma'am? Can you hear me? Are you okay? Can you hear this me? This is not good. This is this is not good. I have to find Rick. What is happening? Look, what's all that red stuff on their fur? Just like McCarthy's cheek. Some sort of disease? Of what, man? And where are they all going? It's not where they're going that worries me. It's what are they running away from? Right. Flipping cougar running with them. Oh, boy. The government's here, huh? This could be perfect. They can get stinky to a hospital. They're gonna kill you. This area is under temporary quarantine. You must stay where you are. What do you mean quarantine? We got a sick guy down here. We need your help. Glad you're okay. This situation no. will be resolved in 24 to 48 hours. Everyone's gonna be dead in 24 to 48 hours. It's not really a way to make friends. Yeah. Morgan Freeman's got really big eyebrows. Confused. Is this SSDD or not? Definitely not. <laughs> Different shit today, Pete. Been a pretty weird day so far. <laughs> you want to know? Different shit, same day. Don't go back to the car for beer. Stay with her. Keep her warm. If we die before you get back, I promise you'll tell everybody she wasn't my date. <laughs> uh oh. I'd say he's awake. Oh boy. I'd maybe mask up before I went in there. Rick, you okay? I'm a little sick, fellas. I just need to make a little room. Let's do it. I'm not all that absolutely positive. I want to go in there. No, I wouldn't. It's a lot of blood. Oh, hold it. What if we just bounce off? No bounce, no play. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alive? I don't know. Rick? Rickery? Oh man! Jonesy, if he can still do that, he must be alive. I mean, come on! Rick, I think he's dead. He just dropped a clinker. I heard it. I don't think that was a clinker. Alright, that's enough, fellas. Snap out of it! Oh! God. No! 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 Couldn't move me. Whatever it is, it's trapped. Got nowhere to go but the septic tank. What's all the shit everywhere? <sighs> what the fuck is that? You get the tape, Jonesy. Don't be brave, babe. You're faster than me. You get the tape. I'll sit on some. No, because if it does somehow get out, you can't fight it, not with your hip. Come on, God. God damn it, go! Why is he dropping the toilet? <laughs> Beef? Yeah? Sit tight, buddy. (laughs) 
No, 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 no. Don't. Oh, good. Don't. Just leave it, buddy. Just leave it. No. You don't want anything. Oh, God. <laughs> what sort of weird fucking movie is this? On Blue Bayou. No, but just let it go. Bye, Beaver. He's about to die. Stop worrying about the fucking toothpicks. Okay, here it is. No, forget about the goddamn toothpicks. What's his problem? Well, it's like you picking your arms when you're nervous. We got an alien creature in the woods. <laughs> Too late. That's what we call a shit weasel. Yes. Consuming. I'm just trying oh, to turn the doorknob. Jesus. Oh, God. I might suggest like a fire, a blowtorch, a knife, a gun. What's bigger? What the fuck is going on here? It just entered him? Yeah. And that chapter ended it, and Jonesy breathed in. Oh, geez. Everybody's been infected. Or implanted? Oh, boy. The men call the red stuff Ripley after the broad and the alien movies. <laughs> <laughs> no one? This time the ETs belong to you. That's right, Bucko. The ETs. They're up to their old tricks. Using the standard gray boy look. With the innocent doggy eyes. Smooth baby butt skin. <laughs> and what is the vaunted opinion of those enlightened cocksuckers who've never been within three states of ET? <laughs> they say the fungus doesn't take hold in all the victims. Some of them just get over it. Really? What about the shit weasels? One's blasting out the basement door. Literally called shit weasels. Did you or did you not allow a young woman and her four-year-old daughter to exit the zone in their own vehicle on Nickham Valley Road? She hadn't been in the zone. She made a wrong turn a few miles back. She couldn't have been contaminated. You know this for a fact or because she told you so? For a fact, boss. Scout's on her. Scout's on her. Stop your bloody lady back! You just avoided a court martial, boy. If you ever lie to me again, you'll be facing a firing squad. Mm. Get him out of here before I change my mind. Just get him out of here. Serious shit. I like Morgan Freeman. This role it's a little different than he's been before. He went back for the beer. Henry told him not to. Honey, I'm home. It's gonna be surprised when she's dead. Catch a little shut eye. Save your energy for those horrendous farts.
What are those called again? Ass blasters? shit weasels. Shit weasels, not ass blasters. <laughs> <laughs> That's another term for them, I guess. What's Jonesy gonna do here? Oh no. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, totally normal. I yep. Way to play cool, alien. Don't get freaked out or think that I'm some kind of weirdo who you shouldn't meet for the best fried clams in Maine. Just some innocent fried clams at the West Wharf. Well, six months ago, you should let it go now. One day, a long time ago, he gave us all this kind of ability to know things, to talk to each other without talking at all, just mind to mind. Do you see what I'm getting at? Didn't prepare you for this one, though, huh? I think maybe our friend Duds is not from this planet. I think Duds is from somewhere else. And he came here to prepare us for something. One of you's already dead. One of you is an alien. Lord, I will never drink again. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> fire. Told you, fire. Is your PP pee -pee okay? Blasters. Jonesy, way to go, motherfucker! Here you come to save the day. Mighty Mouse is on the way. What the hell? Who's Mr. Gray? You're not Jonesy. Okay. Finally, the juju started flowing. Let's be friends! Why are you letting me live? I'm borrowing you! We're going to take a little... Why'd you call me Mr. Gray? Watch out for Ishda Gray. Watch out for Mr. Gray. My mind. Well, surprisingly, you were able to keep a few things from me. I don't understand it, but I'm sure I'll figure it out soon. Sounds like John Cleese. I think it's just that guy. He... I know, but he sounds like John Cleese. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Motherfucker tried to bite my dick off, Jonesy. I always thought it'd be my ex-wife did that. <laughs> Pete, I need you to get onto the snowmobile right now. Who the fuck are you? You sound like one of those James Bonds. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> stop it, stop it. I'll get him to help. Which way to I-95? I need to go to Massachusetts. Who taught you that? You're gonna be a big help, Pete! Well, she's not killing Pete. I want to know who warned you about me, and who taught Pete that nifty trick? Nifty trick. I'm sure the answers are out here. So what has he got in there? He's got Blue Bayou, he's got Punk. It's the only folders I can remember seeing. It's not pretty in there. Ooh. The whole place is covered in this shit. Oh, peanut butter is bad now. What is this? I wouldn't touch it. Some sort of living organism. God damn it. Get 
Get the fuck out of there, man. Oh, lovely. We're making more ass blasters. Don't miss. We got some borax. Oh, fire. Okay. Yeah. Burn down the whole cabin. Oh, God. They've already hatched. Oh, God. They've already hatched. Oh, God. Oh, gosh, no. Burn it down! Burn it down now! <laughs> go, 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 go! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks. So long, Beef. Love you, man. Oh, he burned the place down. Whew. I finished first, so I made one for you, Duds. Mine's deformed. I couldn't figure out the string. I done it. <laughs> yep, I done it. I done it. I done it. I done it. Who's gonna find it? Duddits can do anything. She's the one from the Retard Academy who always waves. We've got to save this girl. Mm -hmm. Oh? Not the world, Duds. A girl. Save the world some other time. If you're gay? Yeah, Duds. You it's see Mr. what he just talked about, though? No. He said save the world, Mr. Gray? Oh. Kiss my bender. Duds can hear people's thoughts. We can't. Are you sure of that, Beef? So proud of himself. Now you guys have my powers. They all got a little bit something different. Mm-hmm. Fuck me, Freddy, she's down there. I know it. I can see her in my head. With it? Tommy! Josie, hang in there! Here we come to save the day! <laughs> Yes, Ozzy. Yeah, they saved Josie from Pennywise. Sir? I see it. The cabin on fire, sir? Uh, oh, no. Crash site. There's there is no, no infection, infection here. Whose radio is that? It's not the radio, boss. They're putting it directly into our heads. These mothers are as harmless as a fox in a hen house, and I'm here to kick some ass. <laughs> Please, There's no infection. We're helpless. We're dying. There's a bunch of them. How are we taking out this huge ass shit? You should just nuke the whole place. Pretty powerful weapon. Tell me about your friend. Is he the one that showed you that nifty trick? Jones is right. Come on, Pete, let's talk. Bite my bag, motherfucker. All right, Pete. I'll bite. No, no, no you bastard, no! So long, Pete. Please tell me it's Morgan Freeman's guys. All you can eat, eat 
Oh, oh no. Is he gonna incinerate all of the Duddit stuff? Ugh. All the Duddit's files. Hard to ski in the dark. Halt! Or we'll fire! You cannot leave the quarantine zone! Halt! I think I just about halted here. Come with me, Owen. I'll show you things you'll wish you'd never seen. Henry's captured by them now. Mm-hmm. Why are they trying to treat them? They know they're just going to destroy them all. Kill them all, right? They might just be doing tests on them. I don't think they're trying to treat them. Oh. oh. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, good point. Where are you from? Boston. Green Town. Great city. We'll have you back there in no time. He knows he's lying. Mm -hmm. Made me feel very proud. Abe. Abe, you okay? Yeah. What's Henry trying to do to him? Enter his consciousness somehow? Or subconsciousness? They've all got to die. It's the only way. The studies point to the strong possibility of recovery for many of the exposed subjects. If three-star journal Matheson had been in my spot for the last quarter of a century, you'd have never made it to your first jerk-off. <laughs> the idea of slaughtering Americans. But it just turns my stomach. Henry hasn't moved. He's listening in. You're not going to let me burn on this fence any more than you're going to help Curtis slaughter all those people. So what you're thinking about right now, sometimes we have to kill, but a real job is to save lives. Your father was a great soldier. You think the infection's been contained? You think there hasn't been a hitchhiker? You're wrong. A guy named Gary Jones, and he's out there. He's going to get out of my range. Some kind of shit is gonna hit the planetary fan. Tell him enough to convince him. If that didn't convince him, nothing will. Yeah. And all Doctor Mystery wants is a free pass so he can catch his friend. I'm not saying I believe him. I'm saying you ought to hear a story. Where is he? I had him taken down to the tractor shed. Okay, I'll check him out. And... Uh oh. He's gonna go down there and just kill him. Curtis is. Yeah. Try to kill him. Dr. Boston? Are you in here? I'm here. Where I've been put. A prisoner on my own damn property. That's Goslin from the market. Get in! You almost ran me down! I figured you'd read my mind and get out of the way. <laughs> for a guy like you, wouldn't it? It's a gift. I know. Hello? Jonesy! <laughs> Massachusetts! He is. Got it. Okay. Jonesy, I will. You hang in there, Jonesy. Jonesy! He hung up. Give me back my gun. You look like a lunatic. <laughs> He's alive, your buddy. He's still alive after all this time with Mr. Gray. I think it's because he died. He got hit by a car, and his heart stopped twice. I don't know, he came back from dead. It must have changed him somehow. So, so 
almost like Duddits saw this whole thing coming. Is that it? I thought Duddits was dead. He's the one who made us like this. Like what? You know, weird. You know, weird. <laughs> Blizzard slowed us up. Penny! 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 Oh, he's still alive. It's Donnie Wahlberg. Oh. Goodbye, Daddy. Be a good boy. Now go save the world. I did it. Mm, he's got a tracker on him. Should have quit after that mess in Montana. <laughs> I'll have everything shut down in an hour. If that's soon enough. Kurt's still on the mission. Oh, yeah. Chomping people in half, left and right. One worm kills the world. One worm. Back at our cabin, I saw the worms that come out of these weasels. And Mr. Gray must want to get one into the Boston drinking supply. It's like the thing getting loose. Maybe your clever friend didn't want you to know what he was up to. That's why you had nothing in the warehouse about me. Dadditz didn't bother to tell you what job he had in mind for you. Punch it, dude. Don't be a pussy. Thank you, Gary Jones. <laughs> Is this all part of Diddit's plan? I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful he had this pre-planned, preconceived. I picked a bad body to... Yeah, the bad hip. Mm -hmm. So long, Doctor. Didn't expect to come back. Apparently not. Curse is about to doom the whole world. This is not good news. We need to be moving faster here. I mean, you legitimately shot him. Oh, dang. All right, well, we don't have time to waste here because he can just chuck that dog in the water. Go back to car, Daddy. You'll be safer there. He's got a Scooby Doo. Oh, my God. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. God damn it, get it! Uh, oh, thank God. Who the fuck are you? Don't you know me, H? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to shoot you. Yeah. I don't know myself if Mr. Gray is gone. Could be hiding in here somewhere, waiting for his chance. Tell me something Mr. Gray couldn't possibly know. SSDD. Not good enough. That was on the door. 
to the office. Look at those boots. Oh, Mr. Gay. We have some work to do now. <laughs> Get him, done it. Mr. Gay. Go away. He is full of cancer and chemo chemotherapy drugs. So if the monster consumes him, the monster yeah. should die. I did it. I done it. Fucking Pete was right. Oh god. Please step on it. It's giving him his cancer. The snake, the snake, the snake, the snake, the snake. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, God. <sighs> Josie. All right. Okay. Dreamcatcher. That was not, not at all what I was expecting it to be. <laughs> I did not expect a an alien creature Invasion. feature. Yeah. I was wondering what you think of that. This, I didn't want to tell you that, anything about it. That means absolutely nothing. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. In the book, I don't, I can't remember if, I don't think that it's is overtly revealed to be an alien. Just at the end, he... Mr. Gray takes, tries to take that it's yeah. over because he thinks he's the most powerful one. Sure. And the cancer kills Mr. Gray. Mm -hmm. And then Henry and Jonesy kill the rest of the worms. So I can't remember though. I have to refresh my memory on that. But yeah. Interesting. Yeah. What'd you think of it? It was like outbreak, outbreak meets. Aliens, alien, the thing. yeah, meets the thing. Alien, more the thing than yeah. Well, the aliens with the shit weasels coming out of your butt. Shit weasels, yeah. yeah. Ass, ass exploders or whatever the hell they're yeah. called. So yeah, I read this. When I was seventeen, and a lot of the concepts in this book of like just the whole memory warehouse for what's inside your head, mm -hmm. SSDD, just a lot of it just kind of stuck with me. Cool. Really cool. Never heard you say SSDD. I literally said that at Christmas when somebody asked what's new, and I go SSDD. Same shit, different day. Okay. I've heard you say it once. I've, I say it a lot. Oh, he says it to all of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> I say it whenever somebody says what's what's happening. Oh, yeah. And I, not much SSDD. And I know I've used the memory warehouse term before with you. I don't got room. I'm in the warehouse for that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, mm. you, you don't have room to remember me saying that. Like, so. Not at all. No, no, no. <laughs> My shed does not hold any <laughs> any room for that. Yeah. So, who was your favorite member of the the gang? I don't know, Pete. Sure, Pete. Pete. Why not? He could run fast. And you can. Mm. So they called that the line. You could see the line. That's what he called it. It just. Yeah, came into point the way. Yeah. So, so yeah, they all did it. Set them all up to have. I think Beaver probably had the least amount of powers. Yeah, like what and, did he have? He role. his role was just to make sure that shit weasel didn't take Jonesy. Mm -hmm. Because Jonesy was yeah. set up to be Mister Gray's host. Yeah, he was set up as the because like, that's why did it ran him into the road, so his body was weaker. And he could have the compartment, though. Yeah. he died, it, like, created a compartment for his 
secret soul to be safe from Mr. Gray. Okay. And then his body was weakened, so Mr. Gray couldn't move as fast as he'd like. Yeah. Because if he got Pete. Right. He would have ran. Yeah. Mm. So I think that's why Pete. I think in the book, Pete says that we got to go get more beers. Yes, he saw the wine to go to Goslin's to go get more beers. Um, and that's why they were separated. And they found the hunters. So it's all part of his plan. And then to have Henry with Pete. Right. So that he wasn't, he wasn't a with, part of the yeah. situation at the cabin. Yeah. And then Henry had the most connection with everybody to talk to them. Definitely. Mentally. So he'd so be able he to tra- 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 trace track them. them down. Yeah. yeah. So. I'll set it up. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Well, good on good on Duddits for having a plan. Yeah, I really like this story because it's a cool. It's another group of friends from Derry, mm-hmm. and they also save somebody from Pennywise unknowingly. Yeah, because that's not their their foe, but they save Josie from him, and then it's just kind of like a side story. There, there's also a little Easter egg that I wish they would have put it in the movie, but when they he goes and picks up Duddits. They drive by like a town statue, and it's on on the statue. It sprays paint. Pennywise lives. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, creepy. But that would have been after the events of it. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like a little hint that maybe Pennywise is coming back. And Gross. Next Don't cycle. Like yeah. So, yeah. And then Morgan Freeman's character, Colonel, or was it Colonel Kurtz? Curtis. Sure. Yeah. Curtis something. He was kind of a maniacal. Yeah, bad guy. No mercy. Mm-hmm. So uh, hardened, I yeah. would say. I think it's kind of a unique character for uh, Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. To play. Usually, mm-hmm. he's kind of he's got a soft edge to him. Mm-hmm. This one, he's all dark, all yeah. hard. Mm-hmm. And he had the the fluffy eyebrows as part of the character description from the book. It's pretty cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Okay. Well, you like it? It's great. Were you scared? Yeah. Pretty. There were moments. Scary moments. Oh, huh? Fuck. Yeah. The whole. I think I audibly squealed at the end. Yeah. There, <laughs> I didn't I, realize it was happening until late. I love the, like your whole reaction of, um, not knowing it's an alien invasion and the shit weasel, and then it goes to the, the Mr. Gray's leg and goes up him, and you see the reveal of mm-hmm. shit. This is an alien movie. Yeah. But like, reading the book is very similar to that. Like you don't know what's you it's don't know what's happening. To, and then all, and all of a sudden, sudden you're like, fuck, there's an alien here. All of a sudden Stephen King describes a gray, mm-hmm. right? And you're like, Oh my God, this is an alien book. Cause <laughs> he doesn't really do aliens. aliens. No, no. I, that's why I was shocked. I was yeah. at maybe something evil or nemi- maniacal, but yeah. not an alien, yeah. an evil alien, obviously. Yeah. And also had, you know, the shine in it, basically, was what all the, the boy's powers were, or mm-hmm. a version of the shine. And Wasn't it kind of an alien, though? Yeah, it is an alien. So, I guess he does do alien, kind yeah. of. It's just more... Subtle. Yes. It's not... This is It's definitely... not in-your-face alien. Yeah. yeah. The whole... And, like, I like how they they adopt the look of what everybody thinks about mm-hmm. pop culture, what an alien would look like. Yeah, that's funny. Just to, you know, like, oh, look, I'm an alien. Mm-hmm. Instead of their actual, their giant Unassum- shit weasels. We're <laughs> unassuming aliens. They're so. giant shit weasels that yeah. can bite you in half. It's their actual look, so. Yeah. What should people comment on after Dreamcatcher? Are we surprised by Stephen King's alien? Yeah. Alien book? What do you think of Dreamcatcher? Yeah. And who was your favorite character? Who's your favorite member of the gang? Yeah. Right. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for Dreamcatcher. I did it. I did it. I did it. Come back next week for a different movie. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Full link, come early access to polls, help us people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Till next time. Have a good one. Bye.